this video, I'm going to walk you through the sharing feature of Logging Lunch, which I think is one of the most powerful things because it allows you to work remotely with the team, if you'd like, and be able to share access to different accounts, whether they're business or professional, with your team or your family or someone that you want to exchange an account access with. It allows you to do that easily and securely. So I just want to walk you through that process here now. So when you're in Logging Once in the password manager, you'll see your list of applications or websites listed. And if you scroll over the top right, you'll find these little buttons. When you click on that, you'll see share. And it's as simple as that. You can click on share and that's going to bring up this option. Now I've already, one way to show you this because I've already shared this in this example. I've shared this with two people. So you can see whenever you go to share an application, who already has access, if they have access and if they have accepted access. So in this example, these two have accepted access. So I can see who's sharing this. If I want to add somebody else, I might add, um, let's see, maybe I'll add this one, right? So I'm going to share with them. I'll just start typing the email. As you start typing an email address, you'll start to see um, different options depending on who you might have already shared with. So you'll see in your history. Um, let me just try something bogus here, right? And then I hit share. Oh, or I could also hit share more options or show more options. And by doing that, this is going to give me the ability to share the password with the person if I'm going to allow them to view it. So maybe you want to share your application, but you don't want someone to necessarily see what your password is. Like if you're sharing a website with someone's going to work on your account and you don't want them to actually know what the password is, you can check this option so they can, by default, they will not see what the password is. But if you want them to see it, you can check it. So by default, they will not see what your password is. If you have a note about it and you want them to see that note, you can, of course, allow them to do that. But by default, they will not see that. And then you can also set when it will expire. So maybe you want them to have access for a week and then lose access, say, if it's a temporary situation. You can set that here in the advanced options. And then you just click share, and that's going to send an email notification to these people, right? Uh, and they'll then be able to click in their email to be able to add this to their login once password manager as well. Now the other thing you can do with sharing is to go up to your smart menu and go to your sharing center. And when you're in your sharing center, which you'll find that are password management, you're then going to see two things, those passwords or accounts or apps that you've shared with others and then ones that have been shared with you. So that way you can just have a whole tally of what you've shared and what you haven't shared. And that's how you use the sharing feature in Lonely Ones. Thanks for watching.